Alrighty, we are at day 28 and I should have made a disclaimer on the first video that my videos are not perfect. Um, I'm, I don't spend time editing mainly because I don't have time to learn and I just feel like it's, I think it's better real. Like I'm going to say foolish things, I will get off topic. The hair is gonna be a mess. Some days it might look good. It might, I don't know. Uh, but I just think like this sport is, this sport gets, they always show like the pretty videos and the and the girls that do their workout videos with the flowing hair and all of this. And none of that is reality, like none of it. So mine are always just gonna be really real and probably a little goofy and whatever, but that's just me. Um, today was a bench and upper day. And as far as workout goes, I think it was pretty good. I, I felt good. Like it wasn't perfect, but considering where I'm at, um, I was happy with it. Bench is always going to be one of those. I love bench. It doesn't necessarily love me, but I'm going to get it. One of these days I am going to get it and it's going to be amazing. So until then, I'm just going to keep doing it and celebrating the little wins when I have them. Um, so again, physically, things were still pretty good today. Uh, mentally, still big old top mass. Um, and I think what's interesting about the mental aspect of it, and it's not so much that I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you're awful, you're going to lose, because I don't think that. I think I'm actually going to win. I think I have a really awesome chance to win. So it's not that that's my problem. It's like everything else around me. Like I swore at a door today. I'm like, F you door, because it didn't open fast enough, and I bumped into it, and I'm just completely like, overreacting to everything. And the crazy thing is, is I realize like, number one, I know I'm doing it. Um, but number two, I think the good part is, is that I realize why I'm doing it. Like I know it's not reality. So when I am having those moments of, oh, you're too fluffy, it's like, no, you're not. Right now you just have fluff in your head. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to keep on top of that, trying to do my little, um, my four, I think it's four square breathing. It's just a breathing technique to try and kind of bring you back down to reality, which is also important. But I think it's hard because I've been working at this for two years. So, so my last show was two years ago and I've just been literally just hammering at it day after day after day. And it's hard not to be 100% focused on that when you literally are 100% focused on it. I mean, all I do is weigh my food, my on Sundays, I sit down and I plan out, like I have a written calendar because I'm old school. I still like to write down. I write out what days, when workouts are in the morning, when they're in the afternoon, when my work is, what my weight is, what changed here. Um, I do that in my workout logs too. Like this morning, I put I put in how much pre-workout I take. I put in what I eat. I put in what my mood is like. I, I don't know why. I just like to kind of stay focused. So that way, if I have a bad day or something is off, I can kind of look back and be like, oh, well, maybe it was because of this, or maybe it was I didn't sleep the night before, or I didn't eat enough. You know, that way you kind of like it, I don't know. It just helps you think or helps me think that, okay, let's, let's, let's be reasonable. Not every, not every day is going to be a win, regardless of what you're passionate about or what you love doing. You're going to have days that just suck regardless. And you just have to deal with it. And you just take what you can from the days that suck and think about, okay, I'm exaggerating when I say this whole day sucked. So I try and pick out the good things like, well, this happened and this was good and this was good. So just little tricks that I use to kind of keep my mind sort of stable, which I'm going to be honest with you is not at all right now, but it's okay. It's good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow I'm actually not lifting tomorrow. I was suggested, it was suggested to me by my coach that I take tomorrow off which I'm, ugh, wow, that's going to be tough. I'm having, number one, I'm a little bit excited about it. Um, and the fact that I want to like maybe do a little, do a little shopping, put on an outfit that actually has buttons and zippers that is not made of spandex, maybe put a little makeup on, look presentable. So in that part, I'm excited. But the other part of me, it's not so much that I think it's going to ruin things. It's that it's almost like I'm giving in and saying, yes, I'm not mentally tough enough to handle it, which is hard. That's really, I'm struggling with that today. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the day off. I'm gonna do as I'm told um, because my coach knows better. That's why we have them. So if you've ever thought of doing a competition, 
don't do it without a coach because you, unless you're like this superhuman superman that has mental toughness and physical toughness and has all of the qualities you need to get through this on your own, get a good coach because they're going to be able to see the perspective when you can't. Like when you're laser focused on one thing and you only see that one thing and they can, they're looking at it from the big picture and they can see like, okay, the big picture is kind of falling apart here. We need to take a day. So Tomorrow, my plan is to start off my morning with sunrise and coffee because that is the best way to start a day. Probably do a little bit of shopping, maybe some buying, maybe some window shopping. I'm going to try and behave. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it and I'm not looking forward to it. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, I will admit part of me is saying just go in anyways. So I'm going to have to like maybe lock my keys up for the day. But I do still, I do still have to do cardio tomorrow, um, which I'm actually looking forward to because it'll be outside and that always makes it better. And then I can go, I usually go a little bit longer when it's outside just because it's going to be nice tomorrow. And yeah, so that's kind of my plan for tomorrow. A little recap of the day. All in all, I think it was a good day. Um, just got to get through that not working out tomorrow. Man, that is, that's, it's, ah, it's in my head. It really is going to be tough for me not to do that because I hate the thought that I'm giving in and that I'm not strong enough to do it because I am, but that doesn't necessarily, that's not a good thing. So I'm going to enjoy my day tomorrow and who knows, maybe tomorrow's video, I'll have a cute outfit and I'll look presentable. All right. Thanks. Have a great night.